What's going on, guys? I appreciate those of you hanging out, waiting for the stream to start. For those of you watching the replay, hit that thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe, turn on all notifications, and enable YouTube notifications. So you'll be alerted when we do things like this, and you can join in on the live chat. So I uh, wasn't sure if I was going to go live today. Decided to take a, a rare, complete rest day from the gym, not just a rest active recovery day where I go do cardio still. Just um, been about six or seven days since I took a legit rest day. So figured why not? Body's a little sore, a little achy. So I figured I'd hang out here. So instead of doing the usual, you know, four or five o'clock time slot, I figured I'd do it for lunch and have a live stream with you guys. So <clears throat> what are you guys wearing? The first fragrance that we're going to talk about of these five is actually what I'm wearing today. It's Tommy Bahama Maritime Voyage. So with this one, it has a beautiful tropical tone. Bright, juicy citrus has that sour starfruit note that most people will recognize from Versace Mano Fresh. doesn't really smell like Versace Mano Fresh, but it has the tropical feel, but still has a creaminess from the Elemi resin. A little musky, bright, a little fresh green. They got this lemongrass note that kind of ties into the starfruit. It's actually pretty damn nice. This doesn't get any love. And the more I spend time with this one, the more it's become my favorite version of Tommy Bahama Maritime. I haven't spent a bunch of time with Triumph yet, but first impressions on a test strip, I like that one more. Since I've been spraying on skin, I like this one the most. Deep Blue is kind of a close second now, which is very much like Polo Blue Eau de Parfum scent profile. But this, I don't have anything else that smells like this. This is kind of unique as far as a tropical fragrance. I mean, not crazy complex or anything, but really nice. God, I have four sprays around the neck and I have one on the arm because I'm just lounging around. No need for a ton of sprays, but this is underappreciated, guys. Very much underappreciated for what it is. I think it's a great fragrance, and more of these Tommy Bahama fragrances don't really get a chance because they're eau de colognes. They last a few handful of hours at best, so a lot of people don't want to give them the time of day because everybody needs to blow your nostrils off with 12 hours of mind-blowing across the street nuclear projection but i still want the freshest thing on the planet <laughs> you know that's you can't have your cake and eat it too so this offers a loads of freshness with that vacation in a bottle type of vibe so the first one we're talking about is also my sin of the day tommy bahama maritime voyage let's catch up with you guys and see what you guys are rocking <clears throat> excuse me good to see you, kevin controls in the house part alone Good to see you. CK All for a round of golf. I hope you enjoy. I'm doing well. Versace Pour Homme. Savage Parfum. Ooh, that's a good one right there. Defy EDP. That's a good one, too. Moustache. I'm assuming the EDP. Sicily. One of the best. Definitely one of the best. Why sell Lom Le Parfum? That's good stuff. Very underrated. That one's underappreciated, too. Believe it or not, I'm wearing my wife's Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Owen Tents. I'm... It's not a believe it or not. I believe it. My bottle's right there. I have it too. I'm saving it for summertime. <clears throat> I'm just starting to really dive into my very fresh fragrances. That's why we're talking about more summertime stuff here lately. And uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of that one. Lemon Line. Ooh, speaking of ones I'm a big fan of. I prefer the women's life. A lot of people are like that, I've noticed. <clears throat> Gabe, good to see you. Grassland. That's a good one. That's a great take on Green Irish Tweed. Sadly, have Percival on the way. That's two good ones for sure. Gus Johnson, $1.99 Super Chat. Wearing Dove Soap and OG Kush, you dig? <laughs> I mean, hey, if it works for you, it works for you. Thank you for the Super Chat, my man. Armani Code today. All right, then. That's, I mean, the original is still technically the best smelling one, right? Versace Mano Fresh. You can't go wrong there. So <clears throat> we might as well. I don't know why I'm having to clear my throat so much. Going to the other one in the thumbnail. I have this on my arm, too. This one continues to impress me. you got to like Nautica Voyage. Had somebody in the comments on the video say it smells nothing like Nautica Voyage. Well, sir, I suggest seeing an ear, nose, and throat doctor because this is spicy Nautica Voyage. Perry Ellis Pure Blue. This one impresses me. I like this one quite a bit. I actually sprayed it on this arm. It's lovely. It's literally, it's got a little bit of that, you know how cardamom sometimes can give a little bit of a bubblegum feel? Get a little bit of that. Just a little touch with this fresh spicy accord added to that watery, apple lightly floral, musky tone of Nautica Voyage. 
if you can find this one out there, I think this is superior to Nautica Voyage. And you guys know how much love Voyage gets. I think this is a better fragrance. You're going to pay a few dollars more. I paid 25 bucks from TJ Maxx. And that seems to be going right on the internet, too. Um, when I linked it in that video, it was 25 bucks online, too. It was 24, 25 bucks. It's worth it. I think so. I mean, not like it's super expensive, but uh, four to five hours is what I've been getting on skin. And I think, like I said, superior to Nautica Voyage um, has all of the freshness, pretty much the majority of that scent profile, plus this nice, fresh cardamom smell. It's it's a beautiful, <clears throat> hear it, congestion. I'm not stopped up either. Kind of weird. But this is good stuff. Very much underappreciated. I like this one a lot. Don't get me wrong, the bold red version of this is really good too, but this is even better. I like this one a lot. This is a great freshie for summer. That just doesn't get any love because I mean, most people probably don't care to give it any attention. Kush Cologne, there you go. Invictus Aqua 2018, my favorite fragrance, Dan. So Paris Corn is releasing Eternal Meadows and Eternal Coffee. Very curious. I'm hoping to get those. I'm hoping to get those. I'd like to check those out, especially the coffee one. It has my intrigue for sure. Need to try Fragrance World's The One and Only Moonlit Night, which is Luminous Night Clone. It's so great. I will try that at some point, I'm sure. I mean, I can't make any guarantees. Um, there's just so much out there to, to experience, you know. Always so many fragrances and so little time. And, you know, not everybody's made of money, you know. Kinzo, Memory Ekins Luminaire. I'm wearing Davidoff Cool Water Day, honestly, just trying to use it up. Well, speaking of Kenzo, let's go ahead and slide into the next one. The third one we're talking about, this is the Eau de Toilette, the repackaged, the newest version of the Eau de Toilette. So the Intense and the EDP have been getting all of the love, and this is actually really good. This has this watery watermelon type of feel, piney green, a little soft and powdery, and aquatic. It's actually really, really nice. A pretty good performer, too. Six to eight hour range and longevity. Not super loud. After about an hour and a half, it starts to sit a lot closer to the skin. It's not as strong as the EDP. It doesn't smell exactly like the EDP, but the EDP does have some of this in it. I do smell some of this DNA in there. That, that piney green feel with the watery tone really ties together. And this is some good stuff. So much so, I haven't even been wearing the EDP. Like I, I spray this one more. This is really good. It gives that by the beach kind of vibe. That calypso note is it's just very aquatic and it doesn't come across as super synthetic. But this one, I think, just gets completely overshadowed because the eau de parfum is I'm not going to sit here and act like it's not. It is so good. And a bunch of you, some of you watching right now in this live chat, have told me how good the intense is. And I haven't tried the intense yet. I will at some point because this and the EDP are really good. I definitely want to try the intense. But this needs a little bit more love. This one's underappreciated for what it is. It's light, it's airy, it's soft and powdery, but still lasts a good bit of time. I mean, it's not a beast, but this is far from a weak fragrance, super affordable. Kenzo Ohm Eau de Toilette, the newest repackaged version. This one needs some more love, guys. I'm telling you. Colonia for a warm Saturday. Good to have you, Ryan. Feeling all the Dubai houses. John, good to see you. Versace Mano Fresh, another one wearing that. Brian's rocking Profondo. Can't wait for Coco Loco. Going to Vegas next month, taking it with me for a good scent memory. That's an excellent choice, my man. I'm ready for my bottles, too. <laughs> Finally picked up grapefruit fruit and sage, but it was a fail. Ooh, shaving foam. You shaving foam from that? Got no grapefruit. It's a creamy grapefruit. What is wrong with you, John? <laughs> I don't know. what. You sure you bought grapefruit and sage and not some different fragrance? I don't know what's happening with you. I... That's not what I get from it at all. I mean, teach their own. You could smell dog shit when you spray it. I don't. You know, literally, um, in my Lamal Elixir video, got a dude said 100% identical to Versace Eros. Absolutely not. I literally had to reply in the comments telling everybody, please don't attack this guy. He can't be serious because it smells nothing like Eros, which, for the record, Lamal Elixir does not smell like Eros. No. <laughs> and if you smell Eros, hey, it's what you smell. Same thing here. If you get no grapefruit you in shaving foam, that's just what you get. I mean, who am I to say what you smell? 
but that's definitely not my experience. I'm a big fan of that fragrance. But at the same time, not everybody interprets everything the same. Nobody, not everybody has the same skin chemistry reaction and so on. So there's, there's varying factors. We are the varying factor. Uh, it's not the fragrance, it's us. So, you know, I'm, I'm messing with you about it, but I mean, Hey, if that's how it smells to you, that's how it smells to you. I'm sorry. It didn't work out. <clears throat> this is so annoying. It's been happening since yesterday. I'm going to clear my throat. Nephew's graduating next week. Any suggestions for a frag to gift to him? He has Sauvage and Mano Fresh. And uh, I can tell you this, my godson for his graduation wanted Invictus Legend. You know, throw that out there. <clears throat> Doing well, Zorro Chrome. So just as we shared a moment ago, I am wearing Tom, the first fragrance we discussed, the Tommy Bahama Maritime Voyage. So anytime you guys jump on the live chat and like you're not here from the very start and you want to know what I'm wearing, you just got to watch the first two minutes. I always give my sin of the day in the first two minutes of every live stream. <clears throat> Kim the Old Marine, will you get it? I don't know. Maybe. You could insert name of fragrance here and ask me that because I, I don't know. I don't know. You never know what I'm going to get it at what point. It's got to spark my interest. <laughs> Good morning, TLT Reviews. Ever tried ATH fragrances? I have. I get to ask this in every single live stream. Um, I've tried a few of them. I actually have a live stream that I, I did some first impressions on a few of them. I would encourage you to type in TLTG, ATH, TLTG, Aaron Terrence Hughes, something like that, and go check out that video, and you'll get more out of that than you will out of right now, to be honest with you. <clears throat> I don't speak on behalf of all Americans. Ali Aghalabab, I guess that's Al Halab. Trying to pronounce. I'm sure I'm but butchering that. But um, yeah, I don't speak on behalf of all Americans, so I don't know what to tell you. There's there's hundreds of millions of us, <laughs> and I am one man, so I can't speak on behalf of everyone. I wear clones here and there. I prefer the originals. Yeah, I do. I say it all the time. Very rare that I recommend a clone over the original. It does happen. Some There are some situations where I do, but most of the time I prefer the original too. <clears throat> Kim Jong-un, what a beautiful scent. I agree. Notice your fragrance journey has led you to travel a bit, one being Chicago, but you have to be in the New York area. How about Philly? Uh, none of those places interest me. None of those places interest me. I have a very close friend in Chicago. That's why I go there. I'm very good friends with George. It's not just business to go over there. I go visit my friend. <clears throat> cool Water Wave. That's an excellent one. Bunch of people wearing Cool Water today. That's good to see. Good to see you. Love grapefruit and sage. Soapy to me. Not bright, loud, sweet grapefruit and the other frags, but great. It's, it, the grapefruit's creamy for me. Can't get it. Such a shame. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe developing allergies. Getting old is not for the weak. <clears throat> so it's just, I don't know. It's just getting hung up in there, here and there. Very weird. We are having a very rainy, like 10 day stretch over here. And then on top of that, it's the seasonal change from spring into summer. So it could be part of it. I have allergy issues from time to time when the seasons change. Yeah. It's all part of it. Spencer, good to see you. Rocking Eternity Aqua. I am a Total War kind of guy from Redcon 1. I mean, that should be obvious. 99% of the time when you see a thumbnail, I've got a Redcon 1 shirt on. So that should have been, you, you could have answered that one yourself. Wait, where's Redcon 1 stuff all the time? I bet he uses Total War. You would have been right, sir. You would have been right. A good cheap one is a Lorome Sport. Um, that's not a cheap fragrance, but sure. I mean, hey, you must be some kind of baller if $150 fragrance is cheap to you. <clears throat> Jonathan, good to see you. Another one wearing Versace Mano Fresh. A little heavy on the trigger today. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Aqua Cinzi, Aqua Cinzi Alley Blue, one of my faves. Late to the show. Wondering if you had a full wearing of Kenza. No, I have not. Or a sod last night driving. Plan on getting Alhambra's Woody Oud soon. Uh, well, it's not before it's discontinued. It's discontinued. It's already discontinued. You mean before you can't get it cheap anymore. 
which uh, you're probably too late to that. I don't think you have much choice anymore. I don't think you're going to get it for 20 bucks anymore. That's pretty much over. <clears throat> With a bit of sweetness. Okay. Double typed it for some reason. Banana Republic Black Walnut. I have not. Green Irish Tweed. I went golfing this morning. Would recommend 10 4. Aqua Clones, especially if they're good. Versace Mano Fresh. Bunch of people wearing Mano Fresh today. And then SmackDown was nuts. I. I didn't see Solo turning on the Usos. I didn't see that happening. Uh, no. No. That's our holidays. Good for summer heat. I'll let you know if I ever try it. I've heard it smells just like sunscreen. So if I ever try it, I'll definitely let you guys know my opinion on it. And with that, speaking of my opinion, another one I would consider highly underrated, because we only got two more, is Chrome Intense. This is underappreciated. All the other flankers get the love. And look, Chrome Extreme and stuff like that, they deserve the love. They're really good. But this just flies under the radar. Cheap, 20, low $20 range for this 50 ml. It's not as much of a shower gel smell as the original. It's got this bright, spicy tone. It's very crisp. It's musky. Still super aquatic. I like this one a lot. This is This is good stuff. This is a goodie. That's why I've been talking about it here and there for the last like month, pretty much. This is a goodie. It's been around for years. Came out in like 2015. It's a great performer, which the original Chrome, no slouch. But this is a great performer. It's not the beast that Chrome Extreme is, but crank it back a notch, notch and a half, and you have similar performance here. Um, I do think it's an intense take on the Chrome the original chrome DNA without having just a straight up shower gel smell. It's not as metallic. So not quite as sharp, but this is good stuff. It's very much underappreciated. Like I said, just kind of flies under the radar because aqua extreme, the new EDP and parfums pure. They all get the love and the attention. And like I said, deserved. They're all good. They're all really good flankers, but this is a really good flanker as well. And it deserves, in my opinion, just as much attention as all of the ones I just named, because it's a, it's pretty good stuff. It really is. The Zorro Chrome Extreme. Okay, okay, I resprayed it, and today it's something different and way better than the first test. Sometimes it takes them to grow on you a little bit. Like, that's happened to me a bunch of times, you know? Uh, Versace Dylan Blue is always a, a great example of that, because it took me like five tries to even like that fragrance. Now I love it, <laughs> but I didn't like it at first. Dolce Gabbana Light Blue O Intense. I thought it was too salty at first. Took me two or three times to really fall in love with that one, too. Not saying you're going to fall in love with it, but sometimes it, it's just like taste. You have to acquire the taste for it sometimes. <clears throat> Grapefruit and Hemp. Kenneth Cole Black Bold. Never tried that one. Chris, good to see you. Just stop by, give a like. Going to my brother's birthday party. Enjoy your day. We'll have a good time. Any recommendations on any bold Middle Eastern clones for the bar scene? One for warm weather, one for cool weather. For the bar scene, well, I don't hang out in those scenes anymore, so it's kind of hard to say. Um, as far as Middle Eastern clones, I would say maybe Assad, for example, for cooler weather, something like that. And then for warmer weather, if you want to try something different, and it's not even really a clone, uh, Al Shagaf for Om. Nafes Al Shagaf from Rasasi. Kind of a rose aquatic. A little sweet. That's different. I wouldn't necessarily call it. I don't know if it's a clone of anything. I don't think it is. Uh, but that's something in the warmer weather. If you want to go a little bold, maybe try that one. It's powerful too. <clears throat> OG of the Rack Store videos. Thank you, sir. Vince Camuto Ohm Intenso. I've never tried that one. Masoni Waves, great for the heat. I agree. Chris is wearing that as well. Waiting for Zara Chrome Intense to be on discount. It's been on discount for a long, long time. For years. Years and years and years. Um, I don't know where you shop, Dr. Fragrance, but it's, uh, yeah. It came out eight years ago. It's been on discount for years. And like I was just saying, I did pay $22 for this. It's all over the place cheap. $25 bucks or less for a 15 ml. Pretty much everywhere. <laughs> super easy to find. Super cheap. 
<clears throat> I keep passing on that one. I don't know why I don't grab it. Summer vibes. Ooh, enjoy. Pineapple juice. I do like Fahrenheit. I think the ultimate version is a little parfum. Any line he had to hear Ross' opinion like it. <laughs> you never know. Uh, no, I haven't. Arm off, Hunter? No, no, I have not. But is the 2012 version of the Arm Sport worth going through work to get? Is the added iris that much plus over that? Um, it's the most unique one. It's very nice. It's very nice. So when you say the added work, what kind of prices are you looking at? That's what would dictate it for me. Because I got a 100 ml tester for like 80 bucks a couple of years ago. Wasn't that bad. And I mean way after 2012. Like the 2017 had been out for two years. I think 2019 was when I got your own sport 2012. The 2017 had been out for two years already. So, I mean, it depends. I wouldn't want to pay crazy numbers, but I mean, it's it's one of those things where you got to decide if you want it badly enough. I can't I can't spend your money for you. You know, I'm not going to make your purchasing decision for you. I know it's not the answer you want to hear, but it's the answer that I'm giving. Um, it's the most different one of the group. That's for sure. Because of the iris, it's a lovely fragrance. Chromie Night, it's good stuff. No, that's... I don't have a lot of vintage stuff. Um, probably Tiffany for men. I have a very old bottle of that. Um, I like vintage styles, not necessarily vintage, like, you know, 35-year-old bottles of stuff. So it's I, I'm not really big on the vintage scene. So I can't really weigh in too much. Oud Wood from Tom Ford, that's a classic. That's because I'm from Belgium. Okay, well, that's different. There you go. So, it's yeah, it's a different situation for you. But still, it should be cheap for you, too. It came out in 2015. It's been around for years. Years. It's not a newer flanker. This thing like getting chromium on it, is that a good buy? It's, it's very calming and relaxing. It's a creamy, soft and powdery tea fragrance. I have not. Tigar is great, but I fell in love with it. No, I haven't tried anything outside of Tigar in that line. You like a fragrance, but your woman doesn't like that. That sucks. So you have to overture man's the prime example for this. I love that fragrance. And my wife does not like it at all. So because of this little wonder right here in her bed, um, we both can't travel together. So when I went to that Royal triple X launch party in Chicago, I wore overture man. Cause I wasn't, it's a great special occasion, special event kind of fragrance. And, uh, and she wasn't going to be with me. So you got to time it to when you're not going to be with them. If you're glued at the hip with your significant other, seek counseling. Don't be glued at the hip. You got to have some time to yourself. But uh, those random times to yourself would be pretty much your only option, I would think. I love spending time with my old lady, too. But you got to have some time to yourself once in a while. <clears throat> Let's get those likes up, people. Well, we have 49 likes, 109 people. Wow, that is abysmal. That is abysmal. Let me refresh. Maybe I'm just behind. No. 49 likes. Damn. Damn. Really? We have 50 of you hate watching me? 60 of you hate watching me? Because that's the only people that don't like the stream they're watching is the people that are hate watching, right? You'd think. Polo Green from 96. Damn. That smells good. Strong Dua fragrance. I don't really wear much from Dua. I'm more of an Alexandria guy. Her favorite Mancera apart from Cedrap Waze. Um, for summer specifically, this one. Big fan. Big, big fan. Mm, oh, it's good to stretch. <laughs> Just the moment struck me. Um, sorry for the stretch. I would say French Riviera. I'm a big fan of that one. Big, big fan of that one. Uh, bunch of citrus, very fresh and watery, fresh water smell. Uh, and like I love to say this, big floppy white flower because it's got a tire note. It's a creamy floral, more so than powdery. Good stuff. Uh, stuff. They say stuff. Big Ross. 
Pajal Almaz better than Herbapura. So I don't have any experience with Herbapura, unfortunately, but Almaz is a beautiful sweet fragrance, sweet fruity, sweet fruity fragrance. Um, I wish I could weigh in better, man. I don't have any Herbapura experience. Right now, price of intense bottles, $75. Oof. The equivalent, the USD equivalent, $75, I'm assuming. That's that's pricey, man. Oman Luxury's Overdose. Great citric fragrance. I need to, that's good to know because I'm wanting to get more citrus. Best Silver Mountain Water Clone. So I would say, I mean, it's kind of cliche, but it's it's really the one I reach for is Club de Nuit Siage. It's, it's the best performing. It does smell chemically synthetic, but on the air, it's fantastic. It is. Um, then I would say something like Paris Corner's Barcode Signature. That's really good. It's not one-to-one, -one, but it's really good. Quality's better on that than the Armoff. Yeah, probably those two, I would say. I have. I just don't remember it well enough. It's been a long time since I've smelled it. Said he's moving not bad for Florida heat. Okay. Hit the like button for our guy. That's what I'm talking about. Well, we got up to 62. We're getting there. I appreciate you guys. So before we jump into these, let's go ahead and get the last one out the way. So I'm so glad Chad recommended this one to me. I wore it again last night. I've worn it like most nights since I got it. Kenneth Cole, Mankind Unlimited. I'm so glad I, I gave Chad my footage. I don't know when the video is coming out. We're doing a collaboration review on his channel. This is so good. It's so good. Watery and zesty orange with some woods. It's nothing crazy complex. It's a fun summer fragrance. I like this one a lot. Some people may deem it not special at all because it's not special. But I don't know. I just like it. I just like it a lot. And I, nobody talks about it. Honestly, had Chad not suggested it directly here on my live stream, like you should try that one. Let's do let's do that together. Let's do a video on that. I would have probably never gave it a chance. Well, not never, but it, the likelihood was very low. And I like this a lot. This is my favorite version of Mankind. Now, I haven't tried them all. I have Hero in the original, and they're solid. They're okay. They're good fragrances. I like this one the most. It's good stuff. That color with the clear, very, very fitting. Watery orange. It's a little zesty and spicy, but very, very fresh. Super fresh. I've worn this. nine or ten times i got it two weeks ago i've worn it nine or ten times but the juice level's dropping i like this a lot i like this a lot underappreciated again nothing super unique and super special but i don't know it's just such an enjoyable freshie it doesn't remind me of any other specific freshies i think that's part of why i like it too kenneth cole mankind unlimited might be worth looking into guys all right, where were we? Forgot to put something on this morning, but got to work and use my decan of Pete and Pedro Rebel. Definitely not something I normally wear. Can't find French Riviera at any discounters. Might be sold out now. Let's see. Nope, still available. Do -do 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 -do. Hold on one second. Let me get your link. This is where I bought it. Oh my, oh my. Let's go. And if you check the chat, there is a link to French Riviera from Fragrance Buy, which is where I bought it. <clears throat> and there you go, sir. I love broccoli. Have at it, sir. That's exactly where the listing that my bottle came from. It was always out of stock on perfume to market. What is perfume to market? I've never heard of that. Tiziana Terenzi Kirk over Herbapura. Okay. If you were to go on a job interview, what fragrance would you personally use? Um, something like yesterday. Uh, I forgot who it was. Was talking about they wore Aqua Celestia Forte to their job interview. I thought that was a great move. Pratolome, always a great move. Something that makes a, you know, I'm not more of the same. I'm not more of the same statement, but still 
professional, smooth, smells of quality. Um, nothing crazy, nothing overstated, you know, things like that. That's the kind of stuff I would want to wear. Not something playful, not just a blue fragrance, um, not a classic fragrance style, because some of those can be a little overpowering. Um, too much lavender and spice could be a bad thing, especially in a confined room, confined space. So, yeah, things like that. Prada Lome, Mason Francis Kirkton, Aqua Celestia Forte, where there's some freshness to them, but there's a refinement and slight elegance. It's also off the beaten path from what most people are wearing at that place of business, more than likely. <clears throat> Best Invictus Aqua Clone, in your opinion? Uh, definitely of Aqua 2018 is going to be Halloween Man Hero. And for all of you that are about to say Hawass, that smells like Invictus, not Invictus Aqua. The first person to ever say that and put that out in the world, I want to punch. <laughs> I really do, because it smells like the original Invictus plus Spice. And once somebody puts that in people's head, it spreads. Ugh, it's crazy. So if you were to smell Paco Rabanne's Invictus next to Hawass and grab Invictus Aqua 2016 in the mix, spray those three together, I'm hard pressed. It's hard pressed for me to believe you would think it smells more like Aqua 2016 than the original Invictus. Because I know. I know, look, here we go. Matter of fact, look, didn't take long. Two more comments down. No, I don't think that's a great Invictus Aqua clone. I think it's Invictus with a spin, with a spicy twist to it. So I don't agree with that. Any human on the planet that says it smells like Invictus Aqua, I don't agree with. I don't. It's my opinion, and I'm strongly sticking to it. <laughs> so <clears throat> Aqua 2018, I would say Halloween Man Hero. Instead of the violet and the powderiness, it's a little soapy because it's got lavender. But it's like 85, 80, 85% just because that lavender changes it enough to where it's a little different. But I would say affordability, that's definitely the way to go, too. Thank you. Yesterday, there you go. <clears throat> Give sophisticated, fresh, clean by boost your confidence, too. I agree with all of that. That's hard to say because they're both so different. I've been wearing French Riviera more, but I think Sicily's a masterpiece. You got to like those yellow florals, you know? Um, they're so different. They can do the same job, but they're so different from one another. That was one of the comments. Another comment was about Aqua Celestia Forte, and I thought they were both great options. Great, great choices. Hope it went well. Let me choose. Make sure to spray less than normal. Yes, that's sound advice. That's sound advice. You don't need them to smell you. If they happen to smell you, cool. Don't try to make it happen because that could go badly. I'm not saying it will, but it could. You never know because all it takes is for them to find your aroma irritating in some ways and it changes the mood. It's not a good thing. It smells great. Love it. People around me kept saying it smelled nice. Yeah, because it's amazing. Excellent choice. Legend Spirit, that's a great Invictus Aqua clone. That is. That's very close to Aqua 2016. It's not as sweet. That's a great one. That really is. Legend Spirit's really, really good. That's fair. You can clone a Zerzhoff, Alexander II with a twist. I like the color scheme. Hawa smells nothing like Invictus to me. And we will differ. I'm not going to argue with you. I just completely disagree with you. <clears throat> So if you look on for granted, they're going to say Mansara Aqua Wood. It doesn't have that B.O. musky funk that Amara has. It can do the same job, but it's not as aquatic. And it doesn't have that B.O. funk, that musty orange smell that Aqua Amara has. It doesn't have that. But I would say it probably is going to be your best bet. And you can get it for 70 or 80 bucks range from discounters online. Well, I don't know. You're in Belgium, but I would say Mantara Aqua Woods probably going to be your closest option, but don't go into it expecting it to smell exactly the same if you go that route. Yeah, it's definitely summery. And you being in Florida, a great move for you, I would think. 
Performance wise, Oud Lemon Mint. Some are appropriate, French Riviera. Oud Lemon Mint is just way too creamy and thick for me in the high heat. Hero's a solid performer. Six, seven hours. Nothing crazy strong. It's solid. It's just not, it's not weak, but it's not a beast either. <clears throat> Sin of the day. Good stuff. Nau Nautical Voyage. If you like Nautical Voyage, I suggest checking this one out. Spicy Nautical, Nautical Voyage. This is Periolis Pure Blue. I agree. Mont Blanc smells synthetic for me. Then you won't like Hawass. <laughs> Volcanus, the king of the super chat. Rockin' LeBeau once again. Excellent choice, my man. Appreciate you coming hang out for a little bit. I appreciate the super chat as per usual. Always greatly appreciated, sir. Good to see you. Defy EDT is my sin of the day. Kind of liking the EDP better. So I like the EDT a little more. It's like a slightly more woody, less musky YSLY. And I like that because I'm a big YSLY fan. Um, but I do like the EDP as well. It's, it's a very, very easy to wear leather cord. You know, so I like both of them, but they smell nothing alike. Obviously. EDT and EDP have no relation scent profile wise. Um, other than they share a bottle and, and a name. But um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the EDT. I prefer it. Platinum Eagle, Platinum Eagle East for that job interview. That would definitely work. Very classy and professional fragrance. Prada Amber would be good. I agree with that. Very classy and professional. Also very inoffensive. Aqua de Show EDP. Waiting on my tenement. I finally got around and, and bought a bottle. My decant's been empty for a long time. And... Uh, I said, screw it. I bought Aqua de Jo Parfum while I was at it because everybody's like, no, it's just Profumo. I get, I get it. I know what I was going into. Um, I just figured why not? Because one of the reasons I don't wear my bottle of Profumo is I didn't want to spend the money on Profumo. And eh, like somebody that mentioned in the comments, he's like, no, why'd you buy it? I'm like, ah, I did it for the culture. <laughs> we're going to get a video. We're going to get a video out of it. And, uh, Heard it's basically a little bit lighter than Profumo, but that's fine. Um, so it'd be like having another bottle of Profumo, more than likely. I mean, I haven't smelled it yet, but I'm cool with that. I love Profumo. Profumo is one of the greatest fragrances of all time. So that DNA is amazing. It depends. It depends on what I'm doing. Like just chilling right now, I only have five sprays of this on. If I was going out and about, I'd probably do nine or ten. Honestly. I mean, it's just me. I have four around the neck, one on this arm, and then on the other arm, I just sprayed this because I felt like it. So I got this on my other arm. But eh, it depends. Anywhere from five to ten for the most part. Sometimes if it's really, really light, I might do 12, 13 sprays. See, I'll start spraying my clothes. If it's really, really super, super, super fresh, stuff like that, I'll spray a little bit heavier. But my usual spray routine, my standards, five to seven. But for something really fresh, seven to ten, kind of standard. If it's really fresh, seven to ten. <laughs> yes, sir. Thanks for being here. I I did. That is a good clone. Um, shout outs to Joe Roman. He, he sprayed it on my hand a while back, months ago. And I thought it was really nice. It's like Woody Invictus Aqua. That is a good one. I think it's a Latafa fragrance, if I remember correctly, Nadja. It, it is really good. I don't have it. I should get it at some point because I remember really liking it. It was a very woodsy take on Invictus Aqua. That's glad you brought that up, Andy. That's a great suggestion. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. And for the record, it does not smell like Eros. For the, if you happen to be watching the gentleman that said that, it does not smell like arrows. If you smell arrows, hey, you smell arrows, but it does not smell like arrows. Like he was literally arguing with somebody. He's like, Have you ever seen somebody said, No, 100% no. He's like, Have you ever smelled arrows? It's like, Have you? <laughs> you know, it was hilarious. Y'all should read that, that string of comments. Don't attack the dude. If you do, leave him be. <laughs> I busted his balls a little bit. It was playful, it was fun, it was fine. Don't give him a hard time if you read that comment string, uh, but it's funny to see. Anybody that smelled Lamal Elixir, that's who I want to read that. Done with the cold. Yeah, it's just rain right now, man. It sucks. It's chilly and rain. It's 50 degrees outside and rain. Yes. 
Yes, guess 1981 Indigo. Hated it, made me nauseous. That turned me away from coconut for a while. That fragrance specifically. It turned me away from coconut fragrances completely. I would not give a coconut fragrance time of day for a while because of that one. Yep, guess 1981 Indigo. Mmm. Polo Red Eau de Parfum has been my favorite since it came out. I used to be an intense guy. Look, I still love Polo Red Intense. But when the Eau de Parfum came out, it became my favorite version. Very wearable, very enjoyable, super mass appealing. <clears throat> Not too sweet, has a little bit of spice. It's got this ginger feel to it. It doesn't have the coffee of the DNA, but it still smells like Polo Red. Um, I don't remember it having the coffee anyways, but it's it's really good. It's really good. Polo Red Eau de Parfum is actually my favorite version. <clears throat> I bought it on eBay. It's not available in the States yet. You either People are either buying it from overseas or grabbing it on eBay when they pop up. That's pretty much it. Whew. So probably still Aqua Atlantique. I would say that's still my favorite Bulgari fragrance. Now, that's going to change when I get a bottle of this. This is too good. Tigar. The reflective tones are making it not focus. Oh, well, it won't focus, but this is Tigar. <laughs> I'm going to get a bottle. It's just crazy expensive. Triton. A bit of the fantastic mango Thai lime that I just got today. That is good, right? That bottle's still right here. Love this stuff. So, so good. <clears throat> but Triton, yeah, it's a good clone of Oceania. It doesn't have the freshness because he cranked up the oil concentration, but it is a good clone. Speaking of Oceania, nine sprays of Oceania. That's definitely one you can spray a little heavier. It's very breezy and airy. It's not a heavy wear. Original Opera de Joe now has EDP. I was told. I know. Yeah, it's got a bunch of versions. The EDP came out last year. Parfum came out this year. Lemon Line or Sicily, which is best for summer? Both. <laughs> both they're both great for summer there is no one best mancera for summer there's no one best summer fragrance that's why it's best to do a list that's what's best because there is no one best because it's so subjective in the first place they're both great they're both fantastic <clears throat> and that's a troll comment ladies and gentlemen strike one any good fragrances from House Siage? I only have one from them, and it's, I forgot which number it is. It's an evening fragrance. It's a uh, Gentleman is the one I have. It's okay. I don't really wear it, though. 12 sprays of red tobacco. And there's another troll comment. Invictus clone. Strike one. There we go. Maison Alhambra's Bright Peach, 12 Spades of Red Tobacco, is to kill yourself if you're talking about men's hair. Yeah, they're, they're talking shit. They're talking shit. That's why I'm saying strike one. <laughs> Nine degrees here in New Orleans. Sheesh. Yeah, for sure. It's hot as hell down there. Bleecker Street, bond number nine. That is a good one. Yes, 1981. Indigo. I didn't get much coconut. I got a green vibe for sure. I did immediately. It made me nauseous. I literally had to scrub it off. Bearberry Touch, Molecule One. And oud wood make me nauseous. Ooh, damn. To each their own. Molecule of one, I guess I could see. <sighs> Burberry touch is a little surprising, but I mean, everybody's different, you know. Weather's been great in Scotland for the last 10 days. Been great fishing yesterday. All burned bright red. Wearing Aqua de Gio Profumo. As I was saying earlier, one of the greatest ever. For sure. Bought Latafa, Kate Alfresan. I want to like it, but it has a weird smell on my skin that's off-putting. On clothes, not bad. Maybe it's the saffron. Probably, because it's got a pretty dominant saffron. I haven't smelled that. I still want to get, love the name, Camel Toe Inspector. Uh, still want to get uh, Caraco Bay. That's the one I want to get from them. I want to get Caraco Bay. Favorite nighttime rain fragrance. Mine is Herod. Something about the rain and the tobacco coming together. I don't really wear anything specific for raid. Why am I yawning again? Ooh, sorry. I don't wear anything specific for that. Like it's raining outside. It's going to be raining all week, and I'm wearing a tropical fragrance, you know? 
Um, the rain typically doesn't dictate a much of a mood change for me when it comes to scent profile, at least. So eh, I don't really have one, honestly. Smell anything like Spice Bomb Infrared, I'd be down to get some. No, not, not really. They don't smell like that. The, the red is the only tie-in. The scent profiles are different. Because the core of the polar red DNA is cranberry and coffee. Not every single one of them have it, but um, that's the base DNA. That's what the original was built upon, the extreme, the intense. Um, I think Rush has it in them as well. And it ties to the eau de parfum. The parfum smells nothing like polo red. It's just in a polo red bottle. Fondo is the best. Aqua Atlantique smells weird, but in a good way. I'm a big fan of Aqua Atlantique. I have not. I never dove into those from our moth. Wearing Legend, what a gem. Managed to get, get a bottle even though it seems to be discontinued. It is good stuff. You own it. Okay. You're in Dallas 93 and sunny. Out for a run as I listen. Well, I appreciate you. City Rhythm Tempo. Very good scent. I agree. Yes, I do. Discontinued. Smells so good. I have one new bottle left. Howdy, peeps. Love the Elixir video. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Hope you enjoy it, man. Thanks for the time. Do you prefer Aqua or Aquamarine? Atlantic seems extinct. Uh, you can still get it for a decent price. Still under retail. <clears throat> Fragrance Net. I think it's like, no, it was a it was a half ounce bottle they had because I saw they had a listing for it. So between those two, I would probably go with Marine, but Aqua is so good too. Both of them are really, really, I have all of them. The only two I don't have from the line are the two tonic flankers, but I have Aqua, Amara, Marine, Atlantique. They're all good. They're all worth having. They all have a slight variation to one another to where they're not completely redundant. Basically, they all have the aquaporum DNA and some variation after that. I think you're good with either one, honestly. Just know that Marine's more watery and less less on the seaweed. It's less bitter. But they're both salty aquatics, but you get more of a watery feel out of Marine, hence the name. So that's how I would look at it. Mosquito Toy Boy. It's good stuff. Very good. Underrated. For rain, that's low blue dissy. That is a good fragrance. I'm drowsy of today for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why I was yawning. Uh, yeah, so it's with a Y. It's T Y G A R. It's it's uh, not Tiger. It's Tigar. So, give you an idea. So from Fragrance Buy, it's three hundred and thirty nine dollars. Retails more than that. It's very expensive. Not much more than that, but it's more than that. I think it's underappreciated. It's a, an odd combination of violet leaf, coffee, musk, and ambroxan. It just kind of works. It just kind of works. The Sedley smell good. It Sedley smells incredible. It's super versatile. Citrus, mint, some green aspects with some ambroxan. It's really good. Sir, your Sauvage, EDT or EDP, which one are you keeping? Explain why. The EDP because it's spicier. That's simple. Your top three Aqua de Joe flankers. So Profumo, A number one. Profondo Lights. Absolute. Not the typical three you'll see from everyone. <clears throat> Comme de Garçon when it's raining, but only during the fall and autumn. Send of day, Ministry of Oud Oud Satin. That's good stuff. We'll hang out for about 10 more minutes, guys. I appreciate you guys being here. 115 viewers, 87 likes. Can we get to 100 likes? Is that a real possibility? What Which version of Diorome are you talking about? Because there's none called Diorome EDP. I have every Diorome, by the way, except for the Silver Stem original and uh, the Silver Stem Original Diorum Cologne from like 06. But I have all of them. But which one are you talking about? Because a bunch of them are Eau de Parfum concentrations. Because there's, there's no fragrance called Diorum Eau de Parfum. So which one are you talking about specifically? <clears throat> Here, Legacy. Yes, sir. Underrated cheap summer fragrance, Isimiyaki Blue Astral. I've never tried that one. Joe Saunders' son's been on my radar. 
That's been on my radar for a while. I need to get that one. Homo casual life is solid. You will not be upset. It's unique, too. I don't have anything else that smells like it. It's been a little while since I wore it. Local funeraries have been cloning, cloning the crap out of Tigar to the point where it gets annoying. You smell it everywhere. $15 for 100 ml. Perform strongly. Even stronger than Savage Elixir. Ooh, really? Silver horse bottle. Yeah, that's the silver horse bottle. Mahir Legacy. Profumo Special Blend. They're out the damn mines. Profumo Special Blend. It's uh, it's got the gold trim. It's the black bottle with the gold trim. Yeah, they've out they're out the damn mines. I've heard it's like a higher quality version. Like the ingredients are a little bit higher quality. It's the same formula, just higher quality raw materials. I'd love to get it. I would have loved to get it for years, and that's just too late now. It's not happening. <laughs> not for that price. Hell no. I'm assuming he means the Orome Intense as well. I just want him to tell me. So, yeah, there you go. The Orome Intense. Yeah. Big fan. Big, big fan. I have the previous version. I don't have the 2020 and newer version. I have the previous version. That was a little bit stronger. So. so the whole Alien Man line by Mugler and Decants ended up not liking any of them. I, have, I haven't tried any. I can't weigh in. Milestone's a good one. Why Profondo Lights over? Because it's greener. It's greener. I like, I like the way it smells more. Profondo performs a little bit better, and I still like Profondo a lot. I recommend it more because it's not a limited edition flanker like Profondo Lights was. I try not to recommend too much stuff when it gets discontinued Um. because, I mean, the inevitable is if somebody likes what they hear from me, they're going to be like, where can I get it? And it's discontinued. It's crazy. Most of the time, they're crazy priced after. So that's why you don't hear me talk about Profondo Lights a whole lot anymore. But Profondo Lights is just amazing. It's an amazing fragrance. An amazing flanker to a flanker. Ombre. Ombre, that's the one. It's good stuff. Chromac was fantastic. It's a minty green aquatic. Yep, it's fantastic. I haven't tried Night Dive, so I guess you've tried Oceanic Edition. Interesting pistachio, uh, pistachio note with tobacco in the dry. No, I've never tried that. I've never tried that one. Hmm. So I have limited experience with them. I actually only have two bottles. I've tried a few more than just the two bottles I have, but I only have pure coffee and pure malt. So I really can't give a top three. I don't even own three. I've tried Ultra Zest. I've smelled Ultra Zest a few times. I've smelled Pure Havana a few times. Um, one I've always wanted to try is uh, Pure Leather and Pure Tonka. Pure Wood would probably be pretty good, too. Ultimate would be... Oh, and uh, uh, Cryptomint. I've smelled Cryptomint. Of what I've smelled, I would say uh, Pure Malt. Pure Malt, Ultra Zest, and Cryptomint. Probably the top three. Pure coffee is really good, but I mean, I would take one of those three over it. <clears throat> That's just of what I've tried. You know, I, I haven't tried enough to. Somebody's back. Like, oh, what about this one? What about that one? I've tried it. <laughs> I want Profondo lights and Absolute. I have Profondo and love it. It's good stuff. Uh, I prefer Platinum personally. Nothing against Victory. I still need to get it. I have Decan of a Victory Elixir. Um, but I really like platinum. Platinum's so strange, so different. It's a little medicinal in the top, the green and herbal. Um, I like platinum a lot. Platinum's good. Platinum's a good one. Same price as Bleecker Street. Cool, put it in my basket, Tigar. Yeah, it's expensive. You can get Bleecker Street cheaper than that. <laughs> Hugo Reverse is my go-to summer cheapy. Also liking Jimmy Choo Ice. That's some good freshies. That's for sure. I have a newer version of the Orome Intense, and it's beautiful. It's macerated a bit over the last six to eight months, and has become a little bit more potent. I don't have any. I don't have any clones of the Orome Intense. So I, I really can't help you out. Um, I have versions, other designer fragrances that fall into the realm of it, but they're not much cheaper <laughs> than the Orome Intense. Uh, but as far as like straight up clones of it and stuff like that, I don't have any of them. I'm not the guy to ask for that. Pure malt, pure coffee, pure leather. 
and the OG. And I've smelled the OG. Uh, I left out the main one, the main DNA. Of course, I've smelled the original. Good to see you. Phantom is terrible from my experience. I didn't care for Phantom either. I wouldn't call it terrible, but I didn't care for it. I had I have a decant that probably spoiled by now. I tried it once, and I was like, eh, pass. Yeah, I, I didn't care for Phantom either. Need to revisit, though. Pure Tonka is great. I've heard it is. I'd love to try it. Problem is getting them. It's just sometimes it's more than you want to spend. Kind of like uh, like I've, I'm kind of getting away from the idea of getting a full bottle of Ascenza. I mean, I got plenty. I'm going to use it, but I love it. I really want a bottle. I just don't want to spend $250 on a 75 ml. You know? Futura smells like Dior Homme for cheap. Is most wanted worth $85? I think so. I paid uh, I paid that much for a 50 ml. I bought it when it came out. I paid retail. <laughs> so that should tell you it's worth it for me. <clears throat> the clone Dior Homme Intense fragrance is called Idol, Idol La Nuit. Never heard of that. For some odd reason, Phantom smells more expensive than it is. It smells like... Eau de Parfum, but it has an e, but it's an EDT. Lyric Man is different, but growing on me. I still need to add a bottle. Uh, my decant has been gone for years now, and I've put off getting it for a long time. I think Lyric Man is a stunning, stunning rose fragrance. Run around with family, super late, but Star Walker in this heat. Excellent choice. I'm going to shut it down in a few more minutes. We're almost to an hour. Just for the bottle, LO. The scent is so so. Pure Havan's also a banger. It is really good. I, I have other tobacco fragrances I like more. That's why I never got it. It's good. I understand why people enjoy it. <clears throat> Crypto Mint around a year ago for only 95 Canadian. So I'm glad I picked it up. That is a good price. I'm going to get new Tom Ford clones since they're getting. No, no, I'm not rushing out to get them. That's not that serious. Then I'm good. What I'm going to be talking about something that you guys can't get goes back to what I was saying about when stuff gets discontinued and I try not to uh, I try not to recommend the discontinued stuff anything that we can do for you today um, you're doing it you're in the live chat yeah there's nothing I don't need anything from anyone you know Dome intense clone uh, well Tania is that how you say that Kayan I've never tried that John I've never heard of it Honestly, yeah, no, everybody's got different taste. You, you can't, you can't. I, look, I may give you a hard time and fuck with you a little bit about it, but I mean, I'm just playing because, like I was saying, with the dude that thinks Lamal Elixir smells like arrows, it, who's to say that's that's what that man smells? He says that's what he smells, you know. Um, I just don't agree, <laughs> it's just what it is. Um, same thing with the Hawass thing, how I think it, it smells way more like Invictus than Invictus Aqua. And so on. We just, it's, it's all interpret personal interpretations. You know, what I think and you think may be two completely different things sometimes, but then there's times where they'll align perfectly. Teach their own. <clears throat> Everyone here hit that like our man taking time to share his knowledge. Well, I appreciate you, man. Cop boozy cherry and trillium. Ooh, trillium from aroma. Used your code. Thanks. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, trillium's really good. Next week, uh, Steve texted me this morning. Next week, I have um, Imperium from Fragrance World coming. So we're going to be doing a giveaway, too. I'm going to give a bottle away. So I'm going to spend some time. I'm going to spend time with it, do a full review on that. Then I'm going to do a comparison video between the two. So it's going to be two videos out of that. Because I'm going to do the one by itself to do a full review on it like I did with Trillium. Give it its due. Then we're also, like I said, we're also giving a bottle away in that video. And then... We're going to have them battle and see which is the better of the two. Thank you, sir. True, pretty subjective. That's completely subjective for sure. I try to, my man. I try to. Some people can't stand that about me. I don't do the fake shit, you know? Better cheap tobacco alternative to Pierre Havan. So, uh, Insurrection Wild, I believe, is the tobacco one. That's always been the, the way to go when it comes to cheap clones of Pure Havan. I personally have never tried it, but I've had enough people over the years say it in the comments. I think it's wild. Let's look.
Yep, Insurrection Too Wild. That's the one. Yep, so apparently that's the way to go. Honey, tobacco, patchouli, cocoa, vanilla, amber, styrax, and French labdanum. 8.3 out of 10 with 526 ratings. So very, very highly touted, you know. Great stream. Almost the end of the month. 27 days left in this month for the wheel spin. Looking forward to happy people winning, hoping to win. Seeing the Woods Collection, Dusk on Joma. Supposedly smells like Leighton. I have not. I have not tried it. Two more for 100. Let me see. Oh, 107. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, we're about to shut it down. So I haven't I haven't gone back to that one. That's really good. It's really good. It smells like a Italian Napa leather in a Mercedes. That's what I relate it to. Um, like the upgrade packages in the S class and the E class, the, 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 the Napa leather upgrade. The genuine Italian leather smell. God, that's what it smells like. That's what it reminds me of. It's really good. I need to I need to wear it. I've, I've bought a lot of stuff recently, so it's kind of just been sitting there, but it's really good. It is a really good fragrance. I like it a lot. Ogivre with your own cologne. I bet that smells great. Yes, the Insurrection clone is fantastic. There you go. Eric, good to see you. It's actually so good. So here you go. Yeah, everybody, everybody's chiming in. So there you go. <laughs> There's uh, votes of confidence. Oh, yeah. I worked the other night. I have it back when it was still called Terry Mugler, Mugler Cologne. Yeah, I have an old bottle. The citrus is a little turned, but it's still, it's beautiful after like two minutes. Yeah, I wore it literally, where's it at? One, two, three, four nights ago, I wore it out the shower. Yep. And Naxos is like niche pure Havan. Huh. Naxos isn't really all that smoky though. Better pickup. It depends on your taste. If you're talking summer, wave. If you're talking the rest of the year, Aqua Sensiale Blue. <clears throat> Wild Two's awesome. Cherry was too synthetic. Gave it away. So it's mixed. But you're only gonna spend like twenty-two bucks. It's worth a dice roll. Most of Sloan aromatic been given. Not lately. I haven't wore it lately. Sin of the day. Jean Lo Immortal. LV. The Men's Sight Clone. That both are good, but it lacks the pop that LV has. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, the originals are always better than the clones. I say always, 99.9% .9 of the time. The originals are better than the clones. But on that note, guys, we did a little bit over an hour. I appreciate all of you for being here. Uh, thanks for coming, hang with me, chop it up, bust balls, crack jokes on each other, and talk about five fragrances that are completely underappreciated. Cheap summer fragrances, I believe, are completely underappreciated for those of you just getting here just scroll back and check it out um just a quick recap of what they were and you can always go back to see i'm wearing this today tommy bahama maritime voyage kenzo ohm eau de toilette perry ellis pure blue which i have a spray of that on as well chrome intense and the most out of left field of all of them kenneth cole mankind unlimited watery zesty orange and woods so like i said for those of you that haven't seen it scroll back and just catch up we, we did it in a pretty condensed area didn't take the whole stream to get through the five uh but thank you guys so much i hope you have a great rest of your saturday i'm just gonna be lounging around today kicking it with my dog probably gonna grab something to eat here in just a minute and uh make sure to check out the coach green review today if you haven't yet weekly rotation will be out tomorrow you guys have a good one